Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Oh, I'm having some of that Ethiopian blend. Uh, it's another word that I can't pronounce, so I'm just going to call it that. So, mm. Oh, all right. Well, this morning we're going to start off with... Uh, Psalm 19, and then we have a reading in Exodus, and then we're going to Colossians. So, Psalm 19, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In, in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Love that. Love that. All right, next we're going to uh, Exodus chapter 23, verses 1 through 9. You shall not spread false report. You shall not join hands with a wicked man to be a malicious witness. You shall not fall in with the many to do evil. Nor shall you bear witness in a, law, uh, <clears throat> in a lawsuit, siding with the many, so as to pervert justice. Nor shall you be partial to a poor man in his lawsuit. If you meet your enemy's ox or his donkey going astray, you shall bring it back to him. If you see the donkey of, <clears throat> of one who hates you lying down under its burden, you shall refrain from leaving him with it. You shall rescue it with him. You shall not pervert the justice due to your poor in his lawsuit. Keep far from a false charge, and do not kill the innocent and righteous, for I will not acquit the wicked, and you shall take no bribe, for a bribe blinds the clear-sighted and subverts the cause of those who are in the, not in the right. You shall not oppress a sojourner. You know the heart of a sojourner, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. Hmm. All right, the epistle lesson this morning, Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 through 23. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink, or with regard to a festival, or a new moon, or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Let no one disqualify you, insisting on a asceticism, and worship of angels, going on in detail about visions, puffed up without reason by his sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head from whom the whole body, nourished and knit together through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God. If with Christ you die to the elemental spirits of the world, why, as if you were still alive in the world, do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, 
referring to these things that, that all perish as they are used, according to human precepts and teachings. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-made religion and asceticism uh, and severity to the body, but they are of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. Hmm. And this is the word of the Lord. Interesting. All right. We'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Creator and Redeemer, you have power over the demons and over all cre of creation so that even the winds and the waves obey you. Give us faith to leave everything behind to follow you in the way of suffering as you feed us along the way with your very body and blood. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Uh, and if you're down here uh, in the local area where I'm at, uh, stay safe from all this rain coming. So thank God for the rain. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless.